Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about how to arrange the div blocks. So right now, um, if you have been following my tutorials, you would have learned about how to specify the length and the width, the width and the height of the div blocks and how to add new blocks. So for example, if I add a new block right now at the bottom, um, contents of third div slash div you'll see that the new block gets added to the bottom okay so right now they're just arranged vertically one row after the other so what if you want to add them as a new column what if you want to arrange these blocks horizontally well then what happens is for each block uh, you will need to add a property called floats okay so because I'm adding them uh, to the div uh, tag from the styling section that means that it'll be applied to every single div tag so I'm gonna add the float property and I'm gonna say left so what that means is, I'll just show you the effect first. And you can see that they're all lined up in columns now. So the first div is on the left. So float left just means I want to place this element as left as possible on the screen. And then whatever element after that will be on the right hand side of the first element of my element. So this first element has a float property of left so it'll be placed on the left and then this will be placed on the right hand side of the first element so that's why the second div is here and then the third div um, is on the right hand side of the second div and so on so if you change this float property to right what happens is the first div okay the first block the first block will be placed on the right hand side okay as right as possible and then the second div will be uh, placed to the left hand side of the first block and then the third div will be placed to the left hand side of the second div so let's see that this change will occur when I refresh the page see the first div is now placed on the right hand side second div on the middle third div on the on the left of the uh, second div so that's what the float right does so let's change it back to left so the top will appear on the left hand side and now what we're going to experiment is what happens when I change the window size okay so if I view this live in Google Chrome okay you'll see that if I rearrange the browser width okay it automatically changes the layout so that if it doesn't fit if it can't fit the block on the right hand side it'll wrap it it will wrap it down to the second line automatically and then it wraps it automatically so that's really cool and it doesn't matter where you rearrange it from it'll always wrap um, whatever block is on the bottom of the page okay so the third div will be wrapped down um, now uh, what will happen if I change it to float right okay so what's gonna happen is if I preview this Alright, the first div is on the right, and then when you try to make the window a bit smaller, the third div goes to the bottom, and then the second div. So that's really convenient for seeing everything that's on the screen. Okay, so thanks for watching the tutorial about floating. See you guys next time.